Welcome, everyone. I'm going to uh, to start, uh, and I'm going to start by thanking uh, both LNAP and ODI uh, for their tremendous support for this event. It's really appreciated, and it's been something that's been a long-term part of their their support for this discussion and a really useful useful contribution. Um, and also to ODI and ODI's, particularly ODI's communication team, who I know are uh, a key to this, and you'll see that because we will have, I think, over uh, around 100 uh, online participants, and we hope to involve them as much as possible in the discussion part of this uh, event. Um, I was pleased to hear this morning that this has been one of ALNAT's most popular events, both in terms of its registration here, but also particularly online. So um, I'd like to, uh, to recognise that. Um, my name is Catherine Nightingale. I am Christian Aid's Senior Humanitarian Policy Advisor. Uh, and it's my great pleasure to be able to chair this panel today. Uh, ben Ramalingan, many of you will know, is, uh, is the consultant who we uh, commissioned to lead this wor work. And um, he's a, you know, an expert in his field. Uh, he's worked with and advised leading development and humanitarian organisations, including UN bodies, NGOs, the Red Cross, and government agencies, and he's the chair of the Humanitarian Innovation Fund. Many of you may well be returning to be part of the launch of his new book on Wednesday, uh, and uh, he currently holds honorary and visiting positions at the London School of Economics, the Overseas Development Institute, IDS, and the Royal Veterinary College, which I was interested to see. <laughs> um, it's also my great pleasure to, to welcome Nan Buzzard. She is ICFA's uh, executive director recently served as the Senior Director of International Response and Programs of the American Red Cross. Prior to joining the Red Cross, NAM worked at UNHCR, the SPHERE Project, the International Rescue Committee, the United Nations Fourth World Conference on Women in New York and Beijing, and in the private sector in New York. Born in New York, NAN holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Philosophy and Anthropology. Uh, Paul? Knox Clark is the Head of Research and Communications at ALNAP, leading work on a range of issues related to evaluation, learning and change within humanitarian organisations and the humanitarian system as a whole. And he began his career working in the field in food and livelihood security. He subsequently worked in, in the WFP in Rome and, and for many uh, uh, key organisations, joining ALNAP in 2011. And finally, uh, Dylan, whose elusive bio I was vaguely able to track down online, who has spent a considerable uh, amount of time, 20 years, working for DFID, uh, but is also an expert in rural livelihoods, including working with the National Resources uh, Institute and extensive work in the Philippines, <coughs> Tajikistan and Yemen. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be starting with Ben's presentation and then we'll ask uh, the colleagues to respond. Thank you. <coughs> 